buckets and spades at the ready. 1,700 school children from all across the northeast are vying to be champions of this year's Sandcastle Challenge. These year six students from Escombe Primary near Bishop Auckland are rising to the challenge. Um, very fun and it's a good uh, opportunity. Yeah, really good and nice to work together. So what did you end up creating in the end? Um, well, we made a world in the middle of our sand, like um, four by four sand square. And like we did people around it and a mermaid tail. Um, yeah, with our, all our creations, we've put like bottle tops to show that, um, that there's plastic like in the world. And, and our mermaid, that's to represent all the sea creatures covered in plastic. So we're on the same team and um, so ours is, like our team name's Water Warriors and ours is about a tree of life. So it's basically, we built a tree and we made it all colourful to make it brighter and more earthy. But we have plastic bags all around the tree so the animals can't get to the tree of life to gain health. What have you been learning at school about pollution and plastics and things like that? Um, we've been learning about how it's affecting the world and how we can help and there's been lots of um, visitors that come in and do assemblies of how we can help. And who's going to win out of the two teams do you think? Us. Yeah. yeah. Us. <laughs> This year's theme is to build a new world and a team of 15 judges will decide on which five schools get to walk away with a £200 prize. As a school we think a lot about recycling and the environment so as soon as they got this title it didn't take them very long to be thinking about the environment and pollution and they're really passionate about it. They want their world, they want their future to be brighter and we want it to be brighter for them so this kind of thing is sending a message.